Hey guys, Emma here. The X5 U5 wireless audio for video system is the latest, greatest dual channel wireless system for lavalier microphones and audio devices. The standard U5 set includes one transmitter, one receiver and one LV1 lavalier microphone, as well as two batteries, windscreens, mic clips, cables, pouch and manual. The expanded U5 T2 set has two transmitters and two lavalier mics, so you can shoot videos with two speaking subjects. The U5 series also includes the U5R receiver, the U5T transmitter, the U5C battery charger and the LV1 lavalier microphone all available separately. The U5 system is great for any kind of video production, including live streaming, vlogs, interviews, YouTube videos, webinars and more. The U5 broadcasts on a 2.4 GHz wireless band. The receiver is True Diversity, which means it uses two antennas for each channel. This results in a very reliable wireless connection. The transmitters are fitted with very sturdy belt clips, which keeps them firmly secured during use. The high-quality X5 LV1 lavalier microphones are designed with the 3.5mm screw-in plugs. This ensures that your mic will never get accidentally disconnected. Attach the U5 receiver to your camera using the unit's cold shoe mount. Connect the 3.5mm stereo TRS cable from the receiver's output to the input on your camera or recording device. Slide the power switch on for 3 seconds to power up the receiver. Sliding the power switch to the hold position disables the unit's controls, preventing you from accidentally changing settings during use. There's a row of buttons on the transmitter for controlling its main functions. Turn the microphone on and off using the mute button. Set the input gain using the plus and minus buttons. The channel button lets you select from six available wireless channels. When the transmitter and the receiver are both powered on and set to the same channel, the channel button on the receiver will light up green. The transmitter's mic or line switch needs to be set correctly, depending on the source you're transmitting. Use mic when using a microphone. Use line when using an audio device such as a mixer or an audio player. The switch lights up in blue when line mode is selected. Mic mode input gain is minus 6 to 12 decibels. Line mode is 0 to 12 decibels. The knobs on the U5 receiver control the output volume level from your receiver to your DSLR or video camera and allow you to make fine gain adjustments from minus 54 decibels to plus 24 decibels. When setting your audio levels, make sure you set your DSLR or video camera to manual mode so you can control the volume input level. As a general rule, it's best to set the camera input level pretty low. Set your transmitter and receiver levels as desired. Monitor your camera's decibel meter to make sure your signal is never clipping. When using one transmitter, set the receiver to mono mode. You'll probably want to set the left and right knobs to the same level, so that you end up with the same volume on both sides. But you can also choose to set the volume of one side lower, to have a safety option in case the other side ends up distorted due to being set too loud. In that case, you could remove the distorted signal in editing, pan the clean signal to center and optimize its levels in the mix. When using two transmitters, each receiver channel has its own gain knob. In mono mode, the two channels are combined and you can only control the left-right balance of the output to your camera. In stereo mode, one transmitter's signal is only on the left while the other one is only on the right. This gives you more control of the audio in the editing process. You can silence the audio transmission on one or both channels using the two mute buttons. When in mono mode, pressing either mute button will mute or activate both channels. When recording in stereo mode, you can select the channel to be muted. The mute buttons illuminate in red when muting is engaged. The U5 system runs on rechargeable lithium batteries. The bright OLED display shows the percentage of remaining battery power for both the transmitter and the receiver. The included dual and single USB-A to micro-B USB cables allow you to charge the transmitter and the receiver simultaneously. They connect to any 5V USB charger adapter or power source. A full charge takes 2.5 hours and gives you 5 hours of use. The units can be connected to power while in use. 
The batteries in the receiver and transmitter are also replaceable. This means you can swap to a backup battery in no time and be ready to shoot in seconds. To optimize the recording of a voice, the X5L1 microphone has an omnidirectional pickup pattern. Keep the mic at least 10 inches away from your mouth or audio source to avoid distortion. If the signal is too loud, the clip indicator will appear on the U5 transmitter. Let's have a look at some applications for the U5 system. The system's dual-channel receiver allows you to connect to two U5 transmitters for interviews and two-person broadcasts. Or, the receiver can simultaneously receive signals from one microphone and one other audio source, such as a mixer or audio player. Instead of sending its output to a DSLR or video camera, the receiver can be connected to an audio device such as a mixer or audio recorder. The U5 system also allows you to send a wireless signal from one transmitter to more than one receiver. This allows you to broadcast to two cameras at the same time, or one camera and one audio device, or two audio devices. The U5 wireless audio for video system is designed to make your next video sound great easily. Thanks for watching.